Welcome to the series How to Get the Best Out of a Hammond XK3 Organ. In this series I'm going to discuss various editing procedures and simple edits to make the thing sound a lot better. I recently bought an XK3, it's a second hand one, but basically it sounds pretty good and the best thing about it is that it's not as heavy as my Hammond C3 and also it has this really good little orange panel that allows me to alter the sounds of the setup. And with the XK3 being a MIDI device, it's easy to connect another keyboard and a set of MIDI bass pedals to it as well. It's not quite the same as a Hammond C3. The music over the opening sequence is a real Hammond C3. I have my original Hammond C3 set up in the same room as the XK3, so it makes a comparison very easy. And the first thing I noticed was that the percussion length on the XK3 is a little too short for my taste. When I compare it to the C3, the percussion length is very short and it almost sounds like a xylophone or even a marimba. I don't personally like this, so the thing to do is to lengthen the decay of the fast decay of the percussion on the XK3. What you have to do is press a button at the bottom that goes into the menu. And then you can page up and page down to where you need to be. As you can see here, percussion is number four. The first thing you see is the volume of the soft and normal, which can be altered if you wish. I would take that up to seven for volume soft. And then you go to percussion decay. Slow is fine at six. Again, you could go up to seven, but the fast decay I would put to five, or if that's a little slow for you, four. But don't forget, if you play the notes shorter on the keyboard, the percussion decay becomes even shorter. So you do have some manual control over this. I've been going back and forth between five and four, and I think I've finally settled on five for the moment. It is of course all down to personal preference, and the kind of music you intend to play on your Hammond XK3. I'm now going to put it back to the factory setting of three on the percussion decay, and play one or two little runs and fills, so you can make your own mind up. With a percussion fast decay setting of three, I do find it sounds a little like chopsticks, so I'm now going to put it back to five and see what you think. That's all for now, thanks for watching and I hope it's been of some use to you.